I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. My name is Jason Perkins, and I'm an attorney that specializes in Georgia Workers' Compensation Law. I created this series to provide injured workers and their families with helpful information about the rules of Georgia's workers' compensation laws and the benefits available to them under it. Today, I want to talk to you about death benefits and specifically um, spouse's ability after a loved one passes away to draw workers' compensation death benefits and whether those benefits are limited. Um, now, in Georgia workers' compensation cases, death benefits are generally only available if someone dies as a result of a work-related accident or injury. Um, so what that would mean is if someone immediately dies as a result of an accident at work, um, a dependent, um, including spouse, children, and certain other people who qualify as dependents, could potentially be eligible for death benefits. Or if someone is injured and later dies as a result of that injury, um, a spouse or other dependents could be eligible for death benefits in that situation. Um, now, assuming that a spouse is eligible to draw death benefits, then the question comes up as to how long can that spouse draw death benefits. Um, there are limits in Georgia on how long those benefits are available. Um, they generally, those limits generally depend on a couple of different things. One is whether the, um, there were other dependents in addition to the spouse at the time of the injured worker's death. Um, if there were other dependents, then there is generally not a monetary limit that's set by Georgia law on the amount of benefits that the spouse can draw. And there is a monetary limit as to the weekly benefit amount. When I say that there is no monetary limit, I mean there is no total monetary limit um, that applies. And that is the case when there are other dependents who are um, dependents of the deceased worker in addition to the spouse. Now, if there are no other dependents, then there is a monetary limit that applies to the, how, many, how long the spouse can draw benefits. And that monetary limit is going to vary depending on when the work-related accident occurred um, that led to the death of the, um, the decedent. Now, there are other limits that apply to the spouse even if there is no, are no monetary limits, and that is with regard to how long the spouse can draw weekly death benefits. Um, in Georgia workers' compensation cases, the death benefit that's paid is a weekly check that's paid to the dependents of the deceased worker. Now, as to those limits on how long the spouse can draw benefits, that generally applies based on a couple of different things. Um, one is uh, an age-based limit which basically says that um, when the spouse draws benefits, um, when the spouse reaches age 65, or 400 weeks of benefits, whichever provides greater benefits, that is when benefits would stop. But benefits can also stop earlier. There's a part of Georgia's law that says if the spouse gets remarried or cohabits in what's called a meretricious relationship, then benefits would stop then as well. Um, those are basically the, benef the limits on benefits for a spouse under Georgia's workers' compensation law. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have, please let me know that. The best way that you can do that is by liking this video or commenting uh, below. If you'd like more information about Georgia workers' compensation, there are many different episodes in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series, and they're all available at our Perkins Stutter Workers' Compensation YouTube channel. You can also subscribe there to be notified of future videos as they come out. If you've got some specific questions about Georgia Workers' Compensation, I think the best way to get answers to those is a free consultation with a workers' compensation attorney. If you'd like to set up a free consultation with me, I'd be happy to do that. There's two easy ways that you can set up that consultation. The first is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen, or you can visit our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com, where you can complete and submit our free consultation request form, and we'll reach out to you and get a consultation set up. I'd like to thank you again for watching today, and I want to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.